Tomo News presents SpaceX. Three, two, one. Lift off. Elon Musk is now dabbling in boring machines. The man behind Tesla and SpaceX has set his sights on another venture, Boring. The goings-on behind Elon Musk's Boring Company were recently unveiled after a SpaceX employee shared a photo of the company's tunnel boring machine on Instagram. A boring machine excavates tunnels with a giant circular cutter head. The machine is designed to bore through anything from hard rock to sand. Elon Musk says he wants to build up to 30 levels of underground tunnels for cars and high-speed trains such as the Hyperloop. Musk has said his boring company would create a trillion jobs in the future. We certainly hope that's true. SpaceX rocket sending first inflatable habitat to space. It sounds like a sci-fi dream, but the International Space Station crew is getting their first attachable, expandable room when an unmanned SpaceX spacecraft takes off on Friday. When SpaceX's Falcon 9 rocket launches from Florida on April 8th, it'll be sending the Dragon cargo capsule to the International Space Station with 7,000 pounds of supplies. A prototype expandable space habitat called the Bigelow Expandable Activity Module, or BEAM, will be included in the cargo. Air stored inside the BEAM will inflate the habitat to up to 13 feet long and a diameter of 10 feet. The BEAM will be attached to one of the docking ports on the International Space Station for two years. Crew members won't be living in the prototype yet. Instead, they will be running tests on its structural durability, as well as its ability to withstand variations in pressure, temperature, and radiation. Made out of Kevlar-type material, the beam offers protection from outside space debris, such as small, asteroid-like objects. Inflatable habitats could be essential to future missions to deep space. On these long journeys, crew members will need more space to store supplies as well as conduct research. If the upcoming beam experiments prove successful, the prototype will lay the groundwork for future space habitats. SpaceX aims to reach Mars by 2018. After much teasing, SpaceX finally announced a launch date for its mission to Mars, and it's in the very near future. SpaceX is partnering with NASA to send a Red Dragon, a modified Dragon 2 capsule, on a mission to Mars by 2018. The company has been delivering cargo to the International Space Station since 2012, but the Red Planet is 560,000 times farther away. Instead of the Falcon 9, the Red Dragon will be launched using the more powerful Falcon Heavy rocket. But while launching the rocket is relatively simple, the landing, especially on a planet like Mars, is where things get tricky. With a much thinner atmosphere than Earth's, there's a less cushion for incoming spacecraft, which increases the likelihood of a crash. The Dragon's heat shield can withstand temperatures over 3,000 degrees Fahrenheit, making it possible to safely enter and plummet through the Martian atmosphere. The capsule is also equipped with eight Super Draco engines, which would allow it to execute a propulsive landing in the Red Planet's service. which would allow it to execute a propulsive landing on the Red Planet's surface. SpaceX CEO Elon Musk is set to reveal more details about the Mars launch at the International Astronautical Conference in September. Elon Musk shows Jeff Bezos that his is bigger with SpaceX landing. Looks like the race between Elon Musk and Jeff Bezos just got a bit more interesting. After Musk's SpaceX Falcon 9 rocket launched satellites into space, then successfully landed on a dime near its launch pad at Cape Canaveral on Monday night. In November, Jeff Bezos' Blue Origin also landed a rocket. But Musk quickly pointed out their new Shepard rocket only went up really high and came back down. It didn't orbit. Both are looking to privatize space, but Bezos just wants to send rich douches on vacation. Reusable rockets could be a game changer because launching junk into space would be much cheaper, with only fuel and maintenance costs to consider. 
Now we just need to see if SpaceX can successfully launch the refurbished Falcon 9 and how long it will take. Musk's eventual goal is to send people on a one-way ticket to Mars. Will the real-life Tony Stark succeed? Who will win the great space race between Bezos and Musk? Nonprofit group plans permanent Mars colony. The race to Mars has begun. SpaceX chief executive Elon Musk says the company will send people to Mars by 2024 and he will reveal plans for colonization in September. Meanwhile, a nonprofit group also aims to establish permanent Mars colonies, sending the first group of astronauts by 2026. After Earth, Mars is the most habitable planet in our solar system. It has similar natural resources, a temperate climate, and an adaptable gravitational pull on its surface. Nonprofit foundation Mars One has developed a plan to colonize Mars. It has already selected six teams of four individuals, and the first team will begin training next year. In 2020, Mars One will launch a communication satellite to the Red Planet. Between 2022 and 2025, a series of rovers will land and assemble livable habitats, which include a life support unit and a communication system. The living unit will house an inflatable living section and an airlock used by astronauts when leaving the sealed, habitable settlement. The unit will include materials for the construction of rooms, floors and electrical outlets and comes equipped with showers and kitchen areas. Additional units will arrive and be constructed as new teams join the colony. Attached to the living unit is the environmental control and life support system. The system will feed nitrogen and argon gas extracted from Mars's atmosphere into the habitable space as inert gases. Thin, film solar photovoltaic panels will be included to generate electricity. The life support system will be equipped with heating units to boil and extract water from ice in the planet's soil. Once the astronauts have landed, it will also be in charge of water purification and removal of carbon dioxide from the living unit atmosphere. The colony's communication system will include two orbiting satellites, one around Mars and one around the Sun. The satellite orbiting Mars will only be interrupted when Mars is positioned between it and Earth. To counter the lapse, the second satellite orbiting the Sun will intercept and relay the transmission, allowing almost 24-7 communication with Earth. The colony will lose transmission only when the Sun is between Mars and Earth, and Mars is between its satellite and Earth simultaneously. Mars One will launch a team of four members every two years, starting in 2026. It will take a year after departing Earth for a team to land on the surface of Mars. The organization hopes to train and send new teams, even after the initial six have colonized the planet. SpaceX to fly two tourists around the moon next year. This week, SpaceX announced bold plans to next year fly two paying passengers around the moon, using technology that's still in development. In 2018, SpaceX hopes to fly two private citizens deeper into space than any human has journeyed previously. The two travelers will trek some 400,000 miles around and beyond the moon during the seven-day mission before looping back to Earth. Before training for the mission, SpaceX says each of the unnamed passengers will undergo a series of tests for their health and fitness. The passengers are set to travel aboard a SpaceX Crew Dragon spacecraft, shot into orbit by a multi-stage Falcon Heavy rocket. The still-in-design rocket's first stage consists of three reusable rockets that produce half a million pounds of thrust. After separating, the central rocket propels the payload into orbit, where it continues on its voyage. SpaceX founder Elon Musk says the travelers will be trained for emergencies. However, the Crew Dragon spacecraft, which is also still being developed, will be mainly piloted autonomously. The crew can monitor real-time ship diagnostics, change the temperature, and take in views through one of the vessel's four windows. The spacecraft will conduct a flyby of the surface of the moon before traveling further out into space, where no human has gone before. It will then use the moon's gravity to slingshot back toward Earth. SpaceX hopes to launch the mission in late 2018, following a series of tests on the rocket and spacecraft. The identity of those traveling remains unknown, but one thing's for sure, they're very brave individuals indeed, and possibly also Scrooge McDuck Rich. How Elon Musk hopes to ferry a million people to Mars. 
Billionaire Elon Musk has unveiled perhaps his biggest, most ambitious plan yet, colonizing the red planet with one million people. Using the Interplanetary Transport System, or ITS, SpaceX founder Elon Musk hopes to use a spacecraft composed of a 250-foot reusable rocket and 100-passenger spaceship to ferry humans back and forth to Mars. Musk envisions a thousand-strong Mars colonial fleet of these ships departing en masse. The rocket booster segment of the ITS will transport the spaceship to low Earth orbit. Both parts of the ITS would be made up of carbon fiber, while the rocket would be powered by 42 SpaceX Raptor engines. That same rocket would then return to Earth and launch again with a propellant tank. This tank then connects with the spaceship to refuel the vessel. The spaceship would use nine SpaceX Raptor engines as well as solar sails which gather energy from the sun on the 54.6 million kilometer journey to Mars. After transporting the cargo and passengers to Mars, the spaceship would refuel at the colony there and fly back to Earth. The cost of a ticket is currently estimated at 10 billion US dollars, but Musk hopes to get that down to below 200,000 or 0.002% of the current cost. Uh, yeah. Best of luck with that, Mr. Musk. SpaceX Chief Elon Musk Preparing Internet Satellite Plan The Wall Street Journal reports that billionaire entrepreneur Elon Musk has announced that he is developing a fleet of small and more affordable satellites that could provide internet coverage around the world. The communications satellites would weigh less than 250 pounds, about half the size of the smallest communication satellites currently in commercial use. About 700 of these satellites are expected to be launched, which is 10 times the size of the largest current satellite constellation in operation. The satellites would provide wireless internet access to anywhere on Earth. The Wall Street Journal reports that SpaceX would likely be used to launch the satellites, however no agreement is yet in place. SpaceX plans to launch thousands of internet satellites. SpaceX has filed an application with the U.S. Federal Communications Commission to launch thousands of satellites in order to provide high-speed internet coverage worldwide. SpaceX's satellite system consists of two sub-constellations of space stations. The first, known as the LEO constellation, would be comprised of 4,425 satellites in an orbit of at least 1,150 kilometers above the Earth. Each satellite can provide service up to 43.95 degrees away from Boresight. The second, Velio constellation, would include 7,518 satellites, orbiting about 335.9 kilometers above the Earth. Each satellite can provide service of up to 51.09 degrees from Boresight. The satellites in the Leo constellation can cover approximately 4.5 million square kilometers while those in the Velio constellation can cover less than one-tenth of that area. The system is designed to provide broadband and communication services for private and professional users worldwide. The deployment of the satellites is expected to begin in 2019 and be completed by 2024. SpaceX ready to launch the world's most powerful rocket. SpaceX has announced it will launch its Falcon Heavy rocket later this year. In the first stage of the launch, three reusable nine-engine cores are used to send the Falcon Heavy into orbit. Here, the rockets use more than two million kilograms of thrust before to detach and return to the launch site. The central rocket delivers the payload into orbit. According to SpaceX, the payload can be delivered to points in different levels of orbits. SpaceX CEO Elon Musk has low expectations for the first Falcon Heavy launch, reportedly saying he doesn't think it'll reach orbit. SpaceX's Dragon cargo ship sends Easter supplies to ISS. The Dragon capsule, loaded with more than 2,000 kilograms of scientific equipment and supplies for astronauts, berths successfully at the International Space Station again on Sunday. The Dragon spacecraft was carried by a Falcon 9 rocket, which was launched at 3.25 p.m. last Friday. A slew of state-of-the-art equipment was carried on the Dragon, including an experimental laser system, a vegetable growing system, and high-definition video cameras. The crew of the ISS used a robotic arm to lock the unmanned spacecraft onto the International Space Station's Harmony module. The astronauts opened the hatch early on Monday. 
Dragon successfully delivered cargo to the International Space Station for the first time in 2012, making it the first private spacecraft to accomplish such a mission.